Most people are only using focus modes on their iPhone to silence notifications. That's a bit like driving a Ferrari to deliver pizza. Your iPhone has a built-in productivity system, so let's turn it on and get the most out of it. Focus modes is a feature that appeared on our iPhones in 2021, but unfortunately, most people never learned how to use it. I've talked to friends, family, and actually my editor, John, who is a tech savvy Apple user himself, who's not using this feature. And he said, Paul, I love the way you're using your iPhone. You need to make a video about this to show people what they are missing. With focus modes, it's like having multiple iPhones in your pocket, all customized with their own personality. Each one can have a different lock screen, widgets, and the apps you need, but only when you need them. To create a new focus mode, first open the settings app on your phone and then scroll down to focus. Now think of each focus as a different personality or set of settings that your phone can have based on the context or environment that you are in. So you can see I've got focuses for things like fitness. When I go to the gym, I wanna see certain apps and I want my phone to be set up in a certain way. Similar when I'm playing golf or at home. And actually for me, home is kind of like my default focus if I'm not really doing anything. I'm just at home. It's kind of the default state for my phone. Sleep, work. You might have focuses for things like going to school, going to church, or even just a focus that blocks out all external noise and notifications except for that one special person. So I'm gonna create a new focus by tapping the plus icon in the top. There are some suggestions here. I usually just start with a custom focus. I'm gonna give this a name and let's create one for uh, doing a commute. You know, when I'm on the train or the bus, I wanna see my reading and podcast apps and I want certain notifications. After I've given it a name, I can choose an icon. So let's choose the train and we'll give it a color. Let's go purple and click next. Now, the first decision I have to make is who do I want to allow notifications from? So things like text messages and phone calls. Who do I want to allow to be able to get through and bug me? Um, notification just came up on my... <laughs> hang on, let me put work on. Because then if I click on the people list here, I can choose to either allow notifications from certain people or I can silence notifications from people. So you want to kind of decide, is this focus mode one where I want to block out mostly everyone or be more selective about who I allow to actually get through? There's two different ways you can decide to set this up. So I can say I want to allow notifications from my dad and my wife and a couple of people on my team. On the next page, I then get to decide who do I want to allow phone calls from? So either just the people on that previous screen in the allowed people list, or I can allow phone calls from everybody, maybe just my favorites, or just anyone in my contacts. I can then apply similar customization to app notifications. Now for this commute focus, I'm pretty happy with most types of app notifications coming through, but I definitely don't want to be disturbed by work apps. So I'm actually going to switch to the silence notifications from setting here, and I'm going to add a couple of apps like Asana, because we get comments through our Asana, and let me find Gmail here. So I'm just going to block notifications from those two work apps. In the options setting down here, I have some additional settings that I can apply to this particular focus. So for those notifications that I've chosen to be silenced, I can choose to show them on the lock screen. I can choose to hide notification badges if I need to. There are some silence options, so I can choose to always silence my notifications or just silence them when my phone is locked. And finally, there is a dim lock screen setting, which is generally useful for notifications like sleep mode, where you don't want your phone lock screen too bright at night. Okay, now we come to the fun bit. This is where we can customize the lock screen, home screens, and even your Apple Watch face that will be applied when you activate that particular focus mode. So the best way to set this up is you can choose from some of your existing lock screens, but because I'm setting up, uh, I wanna set up a brand new lock screen for my commute focus, I'm gonna enable the commute focus from control center. And now if I lock the phone and hold my finger on the screen, this is where I can switch between lock screens, or in this case, I'm gonna click the plus button to create a new one. I'm just gonna use one of the iOS 26 uh, wallpapers, which I think look quite nice. And this is where I can customize the clock, 
the widget at the top, do I want the weather or date showing? And I can choose what widgets I want to appear on my lock screen. So for commute, I want to see my AirPods battery. I think that would be useful. I also want to get maybe a quick shortcut to Instagram Reels, because I'm just gonna go through some content. Let's be realistic. And let's also look for um, the weather. I just wanna see, is it raining? And then once I'm happy with my lock screen, I can add that. I can choose whether I want to apply the same background wallpaper to my actual home screen as well, which I think is quite nice to do because it gives the phone a consistent kind of feeling and again, personality based on the focus. And finally, if I click the focus button down the bottom, I can then link this lock screen to my commute focus. So now when I'm in, the fo in that focus mode, my lock screen will appear. Back in the focus settings, I can then choose which of my home screens do I want to appear or hide in this particular focus mode. So I have a kind of normal primary screen with apps like my calendar, um, camera, kind of apps that I use a lot that I want quickly available. I've got a couple of work screens here, which I do not need to show in my commute focus, health, fitness, golf screens, I don't need to see any of that, but I will just turn on this entertainment screen that I've created. It's got some games, some social media apps. So I'll turn those on there. And now if I go to my home screen, I can see my normal home screen apps and there's my entertainment screen. Now, if I wanted to create an additional screen that is only visible in this particular focus, I'm just going to hold my finger on the home screen to edit my widgets and apps. And I'm gonna scroll over to create a brand new screen. From here, I can add widgets like, let's look for podcasts, because I want to quickly see um, or you know find a podcast to listen to, or maybe add another one for, let's look for music. So I'll just bring those couple of ones in there. And so now when I go back to my focus settings, you'll see that that new screen that I just created is available, and that's going to appear in this particular focus mode. And finally, I can choose which of my Apple watch faces do I want to apply to this focus mode. So you can create a brand new watch face. I'm gonna say for focus, I'm gonna use this rainbow California face. I quite like that one. And now those settings, the home screens, the lock screens will all apply when I turn on that focus. So that's the setup. Now let me give you some inspiration and show you some of the ways that I'm using focus modes. And if you're already using focus modes or have some ideas of what I could do differently, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to get some ideas on how to improve this even more. First, let me show you my work focus. If I pull down from control center, I can switch to work. And you can see on this lock screen, I've got a quick access or view of my calendar and my Gmail inbox. And if I go to my home screen, I've got my normal kind of default home screen with apps I use quite a lot. And if I scroll over, I have a work home screen with the Fantastical widget. Fantastical is an amazing calendar app, by the way. Check out our um, related video up here on how to get started with Fantastical, way better than Apple Calendar. I've got access to see my Asana tasks, Asana and Gmail apps, and my Gmail inbox. If I scroll over again, I can see files on in my iCloud Drive and I've got a bunch of other work apps that I'm using quite a lot and the chat GPT widget. And that's it. I then just get to the app drawer. I don't see any other entertainment apps like games, music, podcasts, or anything like that. And on my Apple Watch, my watch is showing me my watch face, which has got, it's showing me my calendar events and some other widgets and things that I like to see. Now let me show you the golf focus. So again, from control center, I'm gonna to switch to golf. And you can see the background has completely changed. I've actually also changed the interface from dark to light mode, because if you're outside, you want the screen to be nice and bright. And the only screen I have visible now is uh, a couple of golf apps that I use for um, checking the distance you've hit and the distance to the next hole, hole 19, great golf app. And I can see my maps and um, I can see the weather and what the weather's doing. My Apple Watch has also switched to a different watch face now, which I like to use when playing golf. If I then switch to my, just my home focus, this is just sort of what I default to in the evenings when I'm at home. Again, I've got my kind of default iPhone, the, the first screen. 
I've then got some fitness apps, some health information that I find useful. I've got this kind of um, other screen with useful widgets like podcasts, my parcel app for tracking deliveries. I have this entertainment screen where I've got access to some games and social apps, but I don't see any of the work apps. I don't see the golf screen either. And let me show you one more from Control Center. I will switch to fitness. This focus mode actually activates when I arrive at the gym. I'll show you how to set that up in a sec. And this is really just showing my health widgets, nothing else. I don't see any entertainment or work widgets. Um, nothing else to distract me. And again, my watch has changed. It's showing me this activity watch face where I can see my rings if I've closed them. And I've got a widget where I can quickly start a workout. Now let me show you a couple of final little settings that you can tweak to really dial in and customize how your focus modes work. If you go down to the bottom of your focus setting, there are some schedules you can create down here. This is essentially how you can trigger the focus mode to activate automatically, which you could do either based on the time of day. I do this for my work focus. I have it trigger at seven o'clock in the morning when I start work. You could have it trigger based on location. So if you arrive somewhere, for example, when I arrive at the gym, or the golf course, it triggers the appropriate focus. You can even have the focus mode trigger when you open a certain app. So I actually have a do not disturb focus that triggers when I open my meditation app. And finally down the bottom, you have focus filters. Now, this isn't something that I'm personally using a lot, but if you use apps like your a calendar, for example, you can use focus filters to show or hide different calendar categories based on your focus mode. So if you have, let's say, Apple Calendar with personal events and work events, you can show or hide the different events based on the focus mode that you are in. So that was an introduction to focus modes on iOS. From here, I recommend starting with one focus mode like work so that you can familiarize yourself with how they work and getting those settings in place. Even while making this video, at times, John and I were getting confused about what the different settings and options allow you to do. This is by no means an easy feature to wrap your head around in iOS, and I think that's why a lot of people don't use focus modes. So I hope this video has helped. Once you have your focus modes up and running, you wake up in the morning or you arrive at your destination and your phone has changed into the exact settings and it has the right apps and widgets you need for that, for that location or environment that you're in. We've just gotten started in this video. I was gonna talk a little bit about how you can use the action button on your iPhone to trigger different focus modes, but I thought that would be too much for this video. If you would like to learn more about using shortcuts, especially with focus modes, then leave me a comment down below. So John, um, did that teach you something new about focus modes today? Nice. Okay, what we're going to do, John is going to put up a screenshot here of the new focus modes that he's going to go and create. Pressure's on John on his iPhone. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.